everyone, got a brand new movie review for you guys today, and today I'm discussing What They Had. What They Had stars Hilary Swank and Michael Shannon as a brother and sister who are trying to help and aid their mother who is dealing with dementia, and their father who's kind of reluctant to really put her in any homes and just thinking he's the perfect medicine for her. With the long going on this, there are some other family dramas and family subplots that they do have to throw into this family drama. Now, let me say with this. I didn't love this movie. I liked it. It was fine. But I do have some issues with it. But before I get into that, I do want to discuss my main biggest problem with this film is because the director, Elizabeth Chamico, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, so I apologize. I'm not really bad with names. The thing with her that she did so excellent throughout this movie is that she wrote and directed this movie, and I thought the directing was pretty good, but her writing was the thing that was exceptionally amazing in this film. Because she made me love and understand each and every one of these characters, because by the end of the film, I was very emotionally entitled with them. Maybe not with the stories and the subplots that they do deal with, but I was emotionally wrapped with each and every character. The mother, the father, the brother, the sister, the daughter. It goes all around there, and I start caring about each and every one of them by the point where I'm kind of getting emotionally wrapped up with where the story is going and where it ends up going in the end because the biggest problems with the story was a lot of the subplots and the stories. I, I feel like some of the subplots weren't needed. I feel like it derailed some from the story and some of the elements didn't really work overall. And yes, they did push some of our main characters in certain directions, but I feel like it felt like a This Is Us episode that just was not working and tried to be this is us and i wanted it to be more than just that it felt like a typical family drama that you would get on the hallmark channel at times and at times it didn't i felt like the whole dementia storyline was one of the best aspects of the film because with it was such a realistic and feeling way where you can feel like you were there you felt the dementia problems that it's going with with the mother dealing with this and with the family having to go through with it and the hard choices that they have to make in the end of the day where i'm really mixed because at times i really liked the story and at times i didn't i felt very frustrated with some of the subplots and it's very hard for me to get into there but again the script was great the dialogue was great it was so superb and the way that it was written really still made me emotionally unwrapped within these characters a lot of this just goes because of the performances now let me say i'm not the biggest theory swank fan i think she's a good actress she's obviously won awards so she is good and i thought she was fine in here but to be honest she was the weakest actress in here to me her and the younger farmiga were probably the weakest they're still good but they're not up to Michael Shannon's level. I thought Michael Shannon ate each lineup. He is always that one actor that just comes in, doesn't matter how good the movie is, but always just steals each and every moment. And it was nice to see Michael Shannon not just playing that typical character that Michael Shannon plays. He has a lot of emotions coming out as his brother, and I just loved what Shannon did with this character. I, I very felt for this guy. A big performance from me was also the dad, Robert Forrester, who I thought was just great. The guy always shows up in these small roles, and he always does such a decent job, and he was great in here too. One of the biggest standouts of the whole entire film isn't the score, which the score is kind of just fine, but it's the cinematography. The cinematography is gorgeous. Like, there's one scene earlier in the film before it gets up with our opening title card where it shows someone just getting ready to leave the house, and you they open a closet door, and it just felt like a painting, a, a beautiful painting, and I loved the look of that film. I, I just loved what it looked like and how it just shot out and just looked gorgeous on the screen. I, I, I adored what it was trying to do. So I really feel like I thought what they had had some great elements to it. It had a fantastic performances. It made me care about each and every one of the characters and the direct writing from Elizabeth who did her such a good job within that. I do think some of the subplots could have easily been chipped out and maybe remixed, maybe retold a bit to make it more central to that dementia storyline that was easily the best part about the whole film and dealing with it in such a realistic way and I feel like people who are dealing with that in real life are going to be able to relate to this film more than I did, but still, I enjoyed what they had. It's not one of the best films of this year. I don't think it will garner any Oscar nominations, but I think with a script that's very excellent and having some awesome, great performances with a beautiful cinematography, even though it can be slow at times and a little meandering at moments, I still think this film is worth checking out, especially for those performances, and if you're wanting to get enraptured into some characters and just really much care about this family, that's what What They Had is going to give you. So with all that said, I'm going to give What They Had a C+. What They Had was a little decent film. I think it could have been a bit better, but oh well, that's what films are about for. But tell me guys, what are your guys' thoughts on this film? Have you guys seen it? Are you like guys looking forward to it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Also, tell me down below, what's your favorite Hillary Swank movie? Let's discuss that. So if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and even some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.